Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Jordan here. So today we're heading to Ikea. My wife gave me a shopping list and it's actually for things for the house. But right now I got some drywallers working in the basement and they're currently working on drywalling the new Lego room. So once the drywalling and taping and mudding and all the finished product is, is complete down there, I know I'm going to be going to Ikea to try and find some more solutions for um, shelving and stuff like that for Lego sets, like these Billy shelves here. Uh, so when we go there to Ikea today, I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to have a look at some uh, solutions for both displaying Lego, storing Lego, and also creating a Lego city. I don't know if I'll be buying anything today because I don't know exactly what I'm working with down there at, the, at this time, but we may as well explore while we're there at Ikea. We have arrived at Ikea, the home of Lego display solutions, also the home of large lineups apparently. Woohoo! All right, so we've made it in the shelving department here. This one looks pretty cool with the glass shelves. I personally go with like white shelves called Billy shelves. Also, if you're looking to hang some stuff right here, these floating shelves are pretty nice. In particular, I like these ones because they have no brackets, which are pretty cool. That looks like what, a foot deep or something like that? That could work for uh, some good solutions for sure. If you're looking to put some shelving on the wall rather than having shelving on the ground, I guess. Then of course we have the infamous Kallax. Now this is what I keep my part bins in, the organizers. So you got them in all different sizes with drawers and all that, or just the big open ones. And those are really good for uh, storing Lego sets or displaying Lego sets or even uh, your parts and stuff just like I do. And of course you can even hang those from the wall, which is pretty cool. Here it is guys, this is the one that I use. This is the Billy, I think I got 12 of them in the Lego room. They retail for $55 each here in Canada. They're like the ultimate display for Lego sets. And of course they come in different colors. I go with the white ones just because I think it makes those vibrant Lego sets, like the different colors of the, of the pieces really pop off the shelving. And you can even get enclosures for them. So if you don't want your Lego to get dusty, you could put some glass windows on it. I just don't like the glare that that creates. And you can see there's a whole different combination of them here. And what's really nice is the shelves are adjustable, so you can put them at any height. And you can also buy additional shelves for them if you fill the shelf. And we have a corner unit just like this. I think this one's actually taller. That actually looks pretty cool how they've done the three smaller ones in the corner together. But this is a corner unit. They sell the hardware so that you can do a corner unit just like we used to have in the old Lego room and we'll have Wait, in this one, the this one. new one. Hey, I've actually never seen these shelves before either. That's the name of it right there. These actually look a little bit deeper than the Billy shelves. So you'd be able to fit some of the larger sets on there. And then if you have them around the city like I do, the bottom is drawers. So you could put like your instruction manuals or your, your parts and pieces in there or whatever you'd like, right? So that is pretty cool that this one's a little bit deeper than the Billy. For example, there's the depth of the Billy. So those ones are much deeper. Although I don't think they'll fit things like uh, Death Stars and stuff like that. I, I still don't think it's deep enough. Even things like this would really work. However, this is a very expensive solution. It's all glass inside and it has the nice uh, doors that would keep the dust out as well, but it's pretty expensive. Essentially anything with glass, like the glass doors, the glass shelving, is just gonna be a little bit too expensive in my opinion. But you definitely could set up a nice elegant Lego display using some of these other systems for sure. Ultimately, when I look at shelving, I always come back to the Billy bookcase. They are awesome. However, once again, the depth is just an issue. So we're looking for something that's going to be the solution for our larger sets. Sets like Death Stars, uh, Hogwarts Castles, everything like that. And although these are a little bit deeper and they do have the shelves on the bottom, I still don't think they're the proper solution for us. I've gone with the showcases before. However, I ended up selling them. I just wasn't really a huge fan of the way that the... Uh, uh, sets displayed within showcases. These are a little bit higher end ones than the ones I used, but I just don't think display cases are the way to go. Unless, of course, you went all in and you got some really big ones from uh, an online company or something like that. Uh, stay away from display cases, in my opinion. This is the best of system right here. I've heard a lot of people making like TV entertainment systems out of this stuff. Um, definitely could work. You got your depth there for sure. A um, little bit higher on the price. I don't really see any really wide ones. I'm sure they offer some solutions for us in the bestas if we're looking to store larger sets in a deeper shelf. Hey, look, it's a cup. You could put Lego in there. 
so actually this is what we're gonna end up using for our Lego city we're gonna use these tabletops here nice white level look really good uh, and then different price points depending on the size now the reason we're not picking them up today is because like I said the basement isn't finished yet so I don't know what exact sizes we need and then we're gonna pair them up with these table legs right here which are all adjustable depending on how high you want it and we're actually gonna use these ones which are five dollars a piece these are a little bit more as you can see, you can adjust them in different heights. However, those would work too if we're trying to make some different tiers and different heights in a Lego city. So that might work as well. But those are $15 a leg compared to these at $5 a leg, which are right up there, of course. Now, this is actually what I use for my desk. However, I only have one of these drawer systems. But you can put the drawer systems underneath and they act as supports and replace the need for legs. You can see this one's got a leg in the middle. That's what I use for my biggest desk. But I will be converting the city to all tables like this and if we really wanted to we could buy some drawer systems and put the drawer systems underneath um, but I think for the most part it's going to be legs because I really want to um, build some scenes under there and if we put drawer systems under there it's just not really going to work for us but that's what we will be building the new Lego city on it's going to be a combination of these two legs and also the white tabletops just got to find the right combination that's going to work best to fill the room and give us the most accessibility i so badly want to buy some of these today but i just can't because i, I i'm scared i'm going to buy the wrong ones and just like be further behind than when we came in here today you know what i mean uh once we get the lego uh, the lego room up and running we'll definitely come back and we're going to load up on these tables i think i need 26 of them which is absolutely insane considering each table has four legs so it is what it is. It's going to look better than plywood. Um, I'm going to have this nice basement with the white paint and the white roofs and the nice lighting and everything like that. And I just don't want to put plywood and two by fours down there. I don't think it'll look as good. Okay, so this is definitely the solution that we're looking for for the larger sets, okay? So this is the pack system right here, okay? So these are really deep, like, like really deep, like almost my whole arm. So they're nice and big. And it looks like the outer shell, now keep in mind these are prices are all in Canadian dollars, right? It's $100 and each shelf is $15. So essentially we could pick up, I'm thinking picking up some of these here, right? And then there'll be $100 each for the shelf, $15 each for the shelf, probably three shelves, maybe four shelves per unit. So you'd be looking at about $145 per unit. And then this is gonna be able to store things like the Death Star. I think even the Millennium Falcon and stuff like that. And then you'd have this huge surface on the top there too. Now what's really cool is if you put a shelf here, and for example, if you put like all the at, -AT walkers there or something, you'd be able to build a scene within the shelf, like the Battle of Hoth, or a scene around the Star Destroyer. Actually, I don't think the Star Destroyer would fit in there, but like the Millennium Falcon and stuff like that. So I think this is the solution for storing our, well, storing and displaying our larger Lego sets, definitely the pack system in conjunction with the Billy system and those tables and legs would be the best solution for displaying your Lego. Hey, and look what's on the wife's list. She too needs Billy shelves for other reasons than Lego though. Looks like she also needs eight toilet brushes and this little desk here as well. Looks like we're making a classic Rixie unauthorized purchase. Yummy. A uh, quick toe update. Yeah, it hurts a lot. So not bad, I think I uh, consider that to be a pretty successful trip to Ikea. Uh, we picked up some things for the wife. She's gonna have a clean toilet. That's always good. <laughs> also got two little billy shelves just for our uh, closet. But we had a look at uh, the different solutions for displaying Lego. And uh, I've come up with a, with a solution, I believe. I think I'm gonna stick with the billy bookcases. That's what we got there. Uh, for the smaller sets and then for the larger sets we're going to get that Pax wardrobe system with those big shelves nice and deep you'll be able to fit the bigger things there and then also uh, for the uh, the city the tables and stuff like that going to get those legs and those tabletops so I can't wait to um, sort of get back in the groove here uh, once the Lego room is constructed and maybe eat a quick cinnamon bun for the uh, ride home there but we'll definitely be back here in the near future once the construction of the Lego room is done and we're going to be buying some of those uh, pack systems and also all the tables and legs required to rebuild Brickmanton. Woohoo! I'm pretty pumped up. 
So if you guys like this video of all the different Lego display solutions found at IKEA, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much, it's highly appreciated, and make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.